figure. So in the last week or two, the new costume has been revealed for Admiral Picard in the new Star Trek Picard series. And I thought I'd take the opportunity today to just give my thoughts and impressions on this new costume. There's been a lot of uh, internet chatter about what people think of it, and I thought I'd give my take. So for starters, this obviously is a costume we're going to see Picard in in a flashback sequence, I imagine, because obviously we, we know in the context of the show he's been wearing uh, civilian attire. So I imagine this costume is going to be shown uh, in some flashback sequences uh, where we perhaps go back and get a little bit of insight into what's actually happened with Picard during the time where he was last in Starfleet. There's been a bit of chatter on the internet about the costume, people saying, oh, it's a bit too blingy or it's a bit too jazzy or whatever. But one thing I will give it is it is consistent. And in a time where more often than not, stylistic choices go way too far in the other direction, I think this costume brings it back to Robert Blackman's uh, original designs. And I think it does ground the Picard show in what we know of the Next Generation era uniforms, whether that be um, from Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, or some of the, the feature films before the Kelvin Universe ones. I actually like this costume. One thing I was really happy about, it's been 18 years or something since we have seen Star Trek, forward-looking Star Trek, Star Trek that isn't a prequel show. Once Next Generation concluded with the Nemesis feature film, after that we had Enterprise and then obviously more recently Discovery, but these have always been prequel shows. We haven't had anything until this Picard show was announced um, that is looking forward beyond Next Generation, beyond Nemesis, beyond Voyager. And I think this costume really grounds, I think, the look of of Picard era Starfleet and it is very much in keeping with the Robert Blackman style uniforms that we know so well. And remember this costume isn't the regular Starfleet uniform. The Admiral's uniforms in Star Trek have always looked a bit different than the regular uniforms. They've always had a bit of gold trim on them. They've always been a bit more jazzy, a bit more blingy than the regular uniforms. So this isn't the uniform that everybody's going to be getting around in. And I like it. I think I think it's good. I, I'm, I'm just wrapped that we're back to Command Red. Red always, to me, was the command colour. I, I got into Star Trek with the beginning of Next Generation. I went back after that, and obviously, and had a look at the earlier Star Trek. But to me, red was always the command colour. And I think starting from Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, where the uniforms were red, and we were used to seeing Kirk and so forth wearing the uniforms from that era being red. And I think that probably had a, a large impact to do with perhaps why they chose to uh, change the colour of Command to red when the next generation started in 1987. We're back to Command Red and engineering tactical gold, which to me is Star Trek. I've never felt like yellow should be the Command colour, always that sort of that rich red colour to me is a far more noble colour than that sort of yellow colour they, um, they previously uh, had for command officers. The look of the rank pips on the collar, uh, they're the same as we had previously known, so there's been no uh, change there. One thing that does surprise me a little bit is the design of the uh, Starfleet communicator badge. It, uh, it is identical to how we last saw it in Nemesis and in Star Trek Voyager and Deep Space Nine. I, I would have thought that they um, perhaps would have updated it to um, a different look. I gather the events that we'll be seeing Picard in in these perhaps flashback sequences where he'll be wearing this uniform, I think they probably take place perhaps maybe five years after Nemesis, I'm not sure. So, I mean, I guess it's not inconsistent that they would still be perhaps using the same communicator badges. I think the big question that uh, people are probably wondering is to, to what degree are we going to see Starfleet in this new Picard series? Because obviously, from the looks of the trailer, we've got Picard in civilian attire. His crew is on some sort of uh, cargo ship. It doesn't appear to be a Starfleet vessel. Everyone is just wearing regular clothes. So to what extent are we going to see Starfleet in the new Picard show? Because 
it doesn't appear like he's involved in any way or Starfleet's involved. We certainly haven't seen any Federation starships or anything like that in the trailers. I think it'll be very interesting to see the look and style of the um, costumes and uniforms. I think the costumes look great. Thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed my insights and, uh, and comments on the new uniform design. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll catch you next time.